A long while ago in the heart of the wild, lived a family of monkeys with their newborn monkey child. They swung to and fro, capturing meals with ease, and were nice to each other, saying, thank you, and please. As the monkey child grew, he learned the ways of the pack, how to swing, leap and eat, all hanging from mummy's back. The tiny chimp tried to swing on his own, but alas his little arms were not nearly as grown. The clever baby ape couldn't wait to be big, so he made himself a tool from a leaf and a twig. With his hooked branch he grabbed Nana's by the bunch. The other chimps were jealous of his massive monkey lunch. Soon the other apes were using gear of their own. There were new monkey inventions, and banana cream cones. The little chimp was big now, but he wasn't done yet, he had an idea for a new monkey net. This fresh claw grabbed goodies right from the tree. No monkey required, oh how happy they'd be. With how easily fruit was now being procured, the simians could do whatever they preferred. New monkey songs, fashion and dances. They even had new complex monkey romances. Chimp culture was growing, it was a sight to behold. Few apes fit into one old monkey mold. Soon a new group of smarty chimps had arrived, the self-appointed leaders of the new monkey tribe. They made lots of neat gizmos for the pack to enjoy, from hands-free food robots to back-scratching toys. Overnight their little world had been rearranged, it didn't take a genius to notice the change. Some monkeys sat around and ate food all day, while others couldn't find any monkeys to play. It wasn't just hygiene, hobbies and food, some monkeys were becoming a lot more rude. The smarter chimps had a real crisis on their hands, if they didn't act quick, this could end monkey land. So the greatest monkey minds debated the greatest monkey thoughts. The best they came up with, was a friendly robot. As expected, it became the new tribal trend. The apes were all desperate for a good monkey friend. But as much as they tried it just wasn't the same, compared to real primates Robo Bonobo was lame. One wild rebel threw the fake at a tree, the apes then realized just how fun it could be. Their disappointment was soon replaced with pure joy. One by one, the gang got rid of their toys. The smarty chimps didn't know how to respond, the apes weren't just excited, they had started to bond. Maybe the time of trinkets had come to an end. The scholars snuck off, would they try it again? From then on the monkeys were happy with what they had, they didn't care about gadgets, fashions or fads. Gone were laziness, loneliness and greed. Now, every monkey would have all that they'd need. 